Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So today we are taking a look at an original Xbox. So I guess this is part two to the CPU upgrade. Um, been failing them a lot, to be honest with you. Um, I think I did three, four, five, maybe five attempts and they've all gone kind of sideways. So we have yet another original Xbox. Um, this one works but it's presenting error 12 which is fine with me i think that's just a general dvd ish error but it boots as you see there so i don't really care too much about the error more more that it's actually powering on and working but what we're gonna try today is i got me a where are we a slot one card so essentially this is a Intel CPU um, that's kind of the same as the original Xbox CPU. So for those of you that are unaware, where are we? An Xbox CPU looks like that. So it's just an Intel CPU. BGA on the other side, you've seen me remove this before. And in this socket uh there will be a one gigahertz cpu of the same exact size that i should just be able to use and remove from the xbox motherboard place this one in and it should just work fine i know it's not a 1.4 but i want to try my luck with something else so essentially in this video we're going to attempt that and see if it works and if it does work we'll do other fancy stuff maybe like putting on a ram putting on a ram putting on 128 mb ram up Grading the hard drive to a SATA hard drive using an adapter and whatever else I can think of that'll make it fun and interesting. So yeah, um, I guess we'll just start taking this one apart and getting right on into it. While we take this apart, I want to say thank you to today's sponsor, PCBWay, the premier destination for top quality printed circuit boards. In a short span, PCBWay has become the go-to choice for seamless online ordering, rapid prototyping, and unparalleled customization. From hobbyists like myself to industry leaders, PCBWay has earned the trust through its commitment to precision and reliability. Cutting-edge technology and a skilled team ensure that every PCB meets the highest standards. Beyond circuits, PCBWay fosters a vibrant community of creators turning ideas into reality. Join the innovation wave with PCBWay, where quality meets ingenuity. And until the end of December, check out the PCBWay Christmas Big Sales, where you can get up to 50% off all orders. Explore PCBWay for your next project. So we got everything set up to that's uh board on my Achi as per usual. Um and to go over here. So this is the board taken the slot one taken apart. So as you see there, this CPU matches that CPU. So theoretically, uh it should be, as you see there, a one for one swap. So I'm gonna lift, I'm gonna lift off this guy using my usual profiles. Um, 200, 190, 200, it should come off. Clean off that area. Then I'm gonna probably put this guy here, remove these, clean that, clean off this guy let it balls 0.76 and slap it down and it should just boot hopefully so yeah that's the plan i'm gonna set you guys down and we will uh go through the whole process like we usually do see you guys on the other side
motherboard back in. So that's the 1.0 gigahertz CPU. So the difference here is it's missing the branding uh, on the bottom, no, on the top. Uh, did clean it up a tad bit. So I just removed some thermal couple. All I gotta do is plug in some junk and hopefully slap some goop on it. And I don't know, hope she boots. Even if I get error 12, at least we're on the right track. So let me just plug in this stuff and then we'll uh, power it on. Alrighty, let's see what happens. Orange, orange, green. I think that means I didn't plug in my cable, my AV cable. So let me fix that real quick. There we go. Just, whoa, sorry about that. Uh, hold on, one second. She worked, but things are, things are, things are happening and in a not good way. I set that on correctly. Oh, sorry about that. And she boots. Right over there. <laughs> so at least I got this guy, this kind of stuff working. Still can't get the other one to work. Let me turn it off now. Um, so from here, now that she works, uh, what I want to do is clean up the motherboard a bit more um i want to put ram on it but i from what i understand is there's one over here over here one over here and then two on the bottom and i need to run x blast but i think since i don't have the right mod chip i'm gonna put an open xenium in here I can't put one at a time. I have to put all four or something like that. So I'm still a bit iffy on that one. And then I want the hard drive. So I got like a bunch of these from AliExpress. Let me open one up. All it is is the power, the power, and the IDE. Other side SATA, so I could put in like a 3.5 inch, whatever SATA I want, and then. I guess I could get it all working, so we'll probably do that. Um, I'll try to montage it all up, and you'll be able to see me do RAM, hard drive, mod chip, and hopefully it'll all work again. So uh, yeah, let's get doing.
Alrighty guys, so we're back. Uh, got the console put back together. So when we boot it, boop, as you see down there, we now have blue, nice blue uh, LEDs on the four controller ports. And it boots up perfectly fine. So this is a version 1.0, 1.1. So you saw me do the 120 MB RAM. I just have a mod chip running just to test it. I didn't upgrade the hard drive just because I need to figure out how to do all that stuff. I know it's more than an adapter. I have to set BIOSes and stuff. So we'll just leave it here for now. Um, yeah, this was kind of cool and interesting. I, I need to remember more about these uh, to do things differently next time. But yeah, uh, as always, if you liked it, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Any questions, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next one. So yeah, see you. Thank you.